call me S K E P T A. Before I start, I just wanna say, boy, better know. What's up guys, Fluid here bringing you episode 16 of Rose Team and Form. So I've spent the 20 LK I think I had to spend and now I'm on 97 coins so let's go ahead into the trade pile and see what I've bought. Uh, mostly I bought golds and silvers so I bought two golds, the two golds were Essians and then the rest silvers. Got a couple of bronze in there, Situs and then about three pages full just because I didn't want to get an inform because at this point I've got about 20k coins so what I want to do is try and make the most profit I can which is at this point make making money on silvers. So Essien, got him in the center mode, 4 3 2 1, with about 6 contracts. I should be able to sell him on for like 4.3k. Uh, that'll be cheapest on the market. I'll put him up for a day, see if he sells with that. And then I got another Essien in a 4 3 1 2 this time. I thought it was the same formation, but it's not. Uh, he's in the CDM position this time, but he should go for around about the same price, just because it'll be cheapest on the market again. And why not? Uh, this Mexican keeper I got for 500 coins. I'm probably going to speed this up just because silvers on that entertaining. I'm going to try and get a K out of him. Um, most of these silvers, a lot of them are BPL and then the rest are just random because I did 300 max coin method. I mean, what you want to do with silvers is pick a league, like mainly I trade in the BPL or possibly the championship. I mean, other than that, I mean, Bundesliga don't sell too much. I know I'm on a Bundesliga player at the moment, but I should be able to double my profit on him. Sordell I got in the last episode, I believe was episode 15, just right at the end. I should be able to sell them for 1.5k, which is about 400 coins profit after tax. Finley I got in the last episode again, going for 1,200. Should be able to sell them on for 2,600. Turnbull, Chelsea, Chelsea Keeper, going for 800 coins on an open bid. Uh, he should get for 1.8k just because he's in a really good formation. Four at the back as well. And then Becchio. Or Beshe, however you want to say, I got him for 1,600 and 4,122. He's actually being price fixed at about 2.7k, so hopefully I'll sell him for that. Gonzalez got for 250 coins, so I'm just going to discard him, get the 9 coins, just because I don't get taxed on that. Ian Hart, I got for 400 coins, he is a beast, got really good free kicks and a good long shot on him. Should be able to sell him on for 1.3k. Uh, this guy right here, I wasn't sure about, but I thought 400 coins, why not? I'll try and sell him on for 1.3k. I have no idea what he goes for. Luciano, I only paid 300 coins, so I'm only expecting about 550 back. Situ, I've actually done some research into his price. Gone for 1,300. I should be able to sell him up for 2.5, 2.6k. Uh, this guy for Dio, Con Dio Congo. I've had a Dio Congo team before. I'll double my money on him. Situ, again, I got this guy for 2,500, but because he's in the five of the back formation and people love to play five of the back formations, I'm going to try and sell him for 3,200. Uh, this guy plays for FC Torino in Serie B. I should be able to sell him for 800 coins, but on 300. On, on Yewu, got him for 400 coins. I'm not sure how much goes for. I'm going to try and sell him for a K just because. 4231, really good formation. Again, 4231, got this guy, he's Italian. Should be able to double my, double my money, pay 400 coins for him. And that's it for the first part of the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you are liking these longer episodes, please leave them in the comments. And I will see you guys in the second part of the video. Goodbye. Alright lads, I'm back and as you can see I'm on 33k and 18 things sold in the trade pile. I believe I bought about 19, 20 things. So starting off this essence of 4300, the 4321 version. Uh, got 4400 for the CDM, I think that one is. Yeah, that's the CDM. Sold for more for some reason. This Mexican keeps off 1k, has been resold. He has not been resold. Danny got 3 sold for 2500 and 433. Then that's Wayne Bridge, sold for 2300. And he's been resold for 2k, unlucky for the guy who resold him. Uh, this guy here, the German guy, sold for 750 coins. Mom sold out, sold for 1,500. He has not been resold either. Finley sold for 2,600 and got resold for 1k. Ouch, that is a loss from the guy who sold him. Turnbull sold for 1,800 and he has not been resold. Beccio or Beccio sold for 2,700, which was cheapest on the market in the buy now in a 4122. I believe the next cheapest was like 4k. Ian Hart sold for 1,300. And he's not been resold. This guy, Merkel, I think his name is. Yeah, he got discarded straight away by someone. That's why his stats are all messed up. And he's playing for Genoa for some reason. This Brazilian keeper sold for 550 coins. He was not very good. And he was in a really bad formation as well. So I didn't expect much. Uh, this one, he's sent back. He's got a high pace, high defender, and high head. And sold for 2,600. And he's been resold for 2,000. Unlucky from that guy. These guys are making a lot of losses off the players, which I'm selling them for. This DR Congo center back sold for 600 coins. Uh, Situ again sold for 3,200 in the five at the back. Arnewu, I think that is, sold for 1k. 
didn't resell for 1100 and the final player which sold was Greco, who sold for 800 coins still waiting for this guy to sell place for Torino, centre forward 4 and 2 and 2 and I'm finishing this episode on 33k so I think, I'd like to thank you guys for watching please leave, leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time